original the Kalam Sutra for mental math is pretty simple. Let's take two numbers, 96 and 97, subtract them by 100, this gives us 4 and 3, which are then cross subtracted, which gives us 93 anyway. Now, we multiply 93 with 100 to give us 9300, and 3 into 4, which gives us 12. Add these two numbers, this gives you 9312, which is your answer. It can be implemented for any base. It's not necessarily that 100. You can take any number and you can apply the formula. And you can see that using this, you can actually prove that the LHS is equal to RHS. However, the problem is that multiplication by 10, 100,000 is pretty easy for humans, but not for a computer which operates in binary. First, implemented this formula directly, it gave us inefficient results because the logic component was taking too long. However, so we decided to tweak the formula a little. Let's take 30 and 45. Now, the base is basically found as a multiple of 2, so 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So, in this case, the base is 32, and we have values 2 and minus 13 for C and D. And A minus D, which is 30 minus 13, gives us 43. In step 4, all we have to do is a shift operation, which just takes 5 clock cycles. After which, this we can do C into D, which can be done recursively. And in the final step, we add the values, which gives us 1350. When this algorithm was implemented, we found a significant re reduction in the time taken. However, we decided that we need to optimize this code. Hence, we decided to find the total operations that are implemented for each step and broke them down into six different steps. After this, we had to decide which processes can run in parallel. So step one would give value for step two. Step three and step four could be done parallelly, and then step five and then step six. Now, this gave us marvelous results because now the time difference was merely 5.3. Just 5.3 nanoseconds behind, we believe that there is scope for further improvement. Like for instance, we can implement lookup tables for the multiplication of C and D, we can write the whole code in structural Verilog instead of behavioral Verilog, thereby assuring that the code will run in the most efficient and the fastest manner. We can use K-maps to simplify the base calculation to find out which base is closest to the average of the two multiplicands. And we could also use switch cases instead of else conditions to ensure that there's maximum parallelism observed. The mouse work so that we can actually take the inputs from the screen and pass it on to the ALU. This was done successfully as we can make the mouse appear on the screen. This is EC561 final project. Our project is a uh, faster multiplier. And uh, our project is divided into two parts. One is the VGA part, uh, and another one is the 
algorithm parts. And here is the RTO schematic of our VJ part. In the top module, we have the memory controller, calcul calculator buttons, and the button debouncers. Display module, VJ controller. And here is all the very log modules in my codes. This is the top module. I have um, four, five input inputs, which is left, right, up, down, and show. They are the uh, pushing buttons from the Nexus 3 board. And uh, another input is the clock. Output is VGA and HSVS, which is directly connected to the VJ boards. <coughs> the most important part in the VJ part is the display module. Here is the code for display module. In display module, I have created a 36 finite state machine. And here is the first state. The display module has over on two thousand and uh, seven hundred lines, which is a very important part. The second important part in this is the memory controller. In the memory controller, it it will convert the VGA address and directly into the ROM and uh, <coughs> convert the, each pixel to the VGA and show on the screen. Yeah, that's all. <laughs>